This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in for another video app review from the iPhoneAppReview.com. And today we're taking a look at a fun physics app, uh, Just a Ball. And uh, let's power it up here. First of all, uh, Just a Ball is brought to you by Angry Orange, as you can see. And uh, it's a great, uh, enjoyable app here. Now, You'll notice when it first loads, presented by uh, some jazzy sorts of sounds, you can pop into options here and turn the music off. And I'm going to do that just uh, for the sake of the review, although it is kind of a nice festive little sound there. Okay, so just a ball. It's a physics game using a soccer ball and a variety of other uh, uh, elements here. And uh, I'm going to just say right off the bat, physics is probably not my strongest suit, so you're going to witness uh, uh, lots of failures on my Part, but nonetheless, it's all in the nature of giving the great app review, and let's, uh, let's get into it and see how it plays out. Okay, so, uh, yes, you're presented with three basic options. Options, of course, which was sound, play, and credits. Uh, let's go ahead and click on play, and we're going to realize that uh, I've tried level one and two. Didn't get too far, but let's go into one. Just a ball loading. Okay, so here's how this works. You're presented with your layout. The object is to get the soccer ball into the box. You'll notice we're using this iPad uh, for the review, which is good because we have plenty of room to see uh, as much as the angles as possible. At least I would hope that would be the case. So, okay. Soccer ball up in the left corner here. Uh, basically, here, here's how this unfolds. You're going to use the, the navigation menu to the right side. There's only four buttons. Play when you're ready to put the ball into play and try and get it in the box. If you realize that what you're doing is just not going to work, you could let it unfold or just re restart the level. You can also end the level by clicking on the X. Most importantly, though, is you're going to look down here for the screwdriver and wrench. This is what options you have on this particular level to help you get the ball in the box. So by clicking it, we're going to see that we have a can. So I'm going to click the can. Now, what I really enjoy about this app is that you can turn the uh, element, uh, the, the, um, the can or, or whatever it may be. There's going to be a variety of different options here, but whatever it is that you're given to assist you with the level, you can turn it 360 degrees. And so that really uh, steps up the physics a bit. So, okay, once you have it in the angle, you know, you can move it wherever you like as well. So I tried a variety of different things. I don't even recall what it was that I did uh, to get it to go in the box, but all right, I'm going to start with something like this. I think I did something like this. And then you hit play when you're ready to give it a shot. So there goes the ball. Uh-huh. Off the can. Yes. I'm really, I'm really that good. I never tried this before. I'm just that good. Okay. So, uh, right. Next level. Same thing. We're going to look here. Screwdriver wrench. This time we have two uh, of these sorts of uh, barriers to assist us. And I've never... Um, had a chance to get the ball into the box on this level, but I, I haven't tried it a whole lot. Let's see, what was I thinking? I think this, maybe take this guy, have him build a ramp to, for trajectory. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Play. Uh-huh. There goes the ball. Hits my little one. Goes off the ramp. Oh, you got to admit that was close. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm going to move the ramp just a hair. Maybe I moved it too much. I'll try again. Okay, there goes the ball. Yep. Oof. Right. Not even close. And they let you know that. Okay, so let's try one more time, and then I'll get over my whole thing here, and we'll move on to some of the other elements uh, to look at. Right. Missed the ramp completely. Yep, and it still almost was better. It, it knew... Almost better than myself what to, of course, to do. So, okay, well, that's kind of the situation with the game. Is it addictive? Well, I told you I was done, but i got to try one more time. It is addictive. The graphics, the graphics are fantastic. I mean, they're really bright and vibrant. See, I've kind of given up on the lower one. Oh, come on. Right. Uh, anyway, yes, uh, the graphics are great. Um, sounds, they're, they're great, too, because what I like about the sounds is it's enough there to give you some feedback, kind of keep you submersed in the game. And uh, not too much to bother you. So, okay, as I said, physics, not my strongest uh, suit. Uh, but I hope that you get a, uh, a good feel for this app. I mean, there, there, there's, uh, first and foremost, the game is only 99 cents. Already, to me, well worth it. 
Uh, you can click the X. Are you sure you want to quit the level? Yes, I am. And you can see there's a, a large number of levels to participate in. So this will keep you happy for a long time. A lot of great gameplay. Uh, very, very crisp, clear graphics. No lag. No problems at all. Uh, in fact, there's no problems really even getting into the game. It's just, you know, you, you load it up and, and you're off and trying to get the ball in the box. It's, it's, uh, it's fun. And, uh, yeah, I give this game uh, five stars, and I'll tell you why. Uh, it's because it does exactly what it should do. It keeps you entertained. It's not expensive. Uh, the graphics are fantastic, especially on the iPad. I really like the amount of room that I have here to work with things, and I really feel like there's plenty of room for the ball to move around, and I don't feel confined or restricted. And uh, it's just a great little app. Sounds are good, graphics are good, uh, price is just right, and I give just a ball five stars. So if you enjoy physics games, physics puzzle games, uh, just a ball is, is, is one that I would definitely recommend that you take a look at. So thank you for viewing our, um, our review. We're definitely going to do another write-up, and I'll have some screenshots up as well. And, uh, and yeah, we look forward to, to showing you some other apps in the very near future. In the uh, meantime, please visit the iPhoneAppReview.com for the full written review. Uh, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. All right, thank you.